Uh, Sunday's the uh, sixth Sunday after Easter, and Jesus is talking to his disciples before he goes to his death, his departure from them. He says to them, if you love me, you will keep my commandments, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you forever. This is the spirit of truth that the world cannot receive, because it neither see, sees him nor knows him. But you know him, because he abides with you, and he will be in you. I will not leave you orphans, I am coming to you. In a little while the world will no longer see me, but you will see me. Because I live, you also will live. On that day you will know that the Father is in me, and I in you, and you in me. Those who have my commandments and keep them are those who love me. And my Father, and those who love me, my Father will love, and I will love them, and reveal myself to them. Um, I don't know if we really all quite appreciate the depth of that gift that is this spirit that abides with me and is in me um, and recently I've been away from the parish I, I came back and the people who live around the place outside um, there was mayhem really um, and uh, they're just out of sorts and, um, and uh, there's one woman there whom I've always felt to be a spirit woman uh, and I, I, I didn't do anything that night but the following morning I, I, I came to see her and I said look you know we, we need you we need your spirit at the moment you're really off your head but uh, you, 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 uh, you are a spirit person, our wisdom and our you're our elder and uh, we need you to come back to that spirit and she just wept uh, she knew, she knew she was um, she needed to um, I and she reminds us that the spirit is in all of us. Uh, she reminds us of our spirit. Um, and uh, how we can be out of touch with our spirit, out of sorts. Uh, I remember another time um, this person was um, really making, she was just so upset, she was so loud in her gr gr grieving and making so much noise and was so uh, totally unashamed and people were uh, peering out the windows and telling her to shut up and calling the police and she just continued in her grief walking up and down the street and I sat down next to her on the steps one and, and and said put my hand on her shoulder and I said it's gonna be it's all right it's all right she turned to me and said don't tell me it's all right it's not all right and uh, and that's why I always felt her to be a spirit person because she uh, has this uh, capacity to give expression to her grief. In this case I think it was a grandmother had been had died and she wasn't there for the funeral. But um, she uh, can be both uh, utterly uh, grieving or 
so much passion and power in her in her that uh, comes from her connectedness with this spirit in her the spirit that connects her with God really and uh, um, you know there are, we can our spirits can be crushed we, we can even forget we've even got a spirit we can be so driven by the demands of the day and and also it can be crushed by when when, when things aren't right uh, as they never are, they're always not right, but, you know, greed can take over, competitiveness, um, a sense of despair and, and hatred, if not hatred, at least indifference to one another, and isolation, and that, that's what um, a spirit overcomes, uh, does it? Uh, and uh, to... We, I think we do need to recognise the spirit people in our midst to, and to ask them to continue to bring our spirits alive. Um, uh, demand it of them, and uh, and to affirm that spirit in one another uh, that we have this spirit. And we only need just to breathe in that spirit and breathe out. Uh, it's never taken away from us. Uh, it's there to be true, our truth. It's our truth, given, totally given 